The Milky Way Project is an online science project in which anyone with access to the internet can participate in. There are thousands of Milky Way pictures generated from the Spitzer Space Telescope, which is one of NASA spacecrafts that travels in an Earth-trailing orbit around the Sun. The two people that started it were Dr. Sarah Kendrev and Dr. Robert Simpson. They started working on the universe and both had a background in star formation. They thought that they should really do a star formation citizen science project. They don't provide much information about who started the project on the actual website. So to find it, I went online and found a magazine called skyatnightmagazine.com where there had been a featured interview with them. I found out that 706,528 people have contributed so far. The Milky Way project had an official data release in 2012 and they, have, they inform us that people have found 5,106 bubbles, which are 10 times bigger than the previous list. One thing that I wasn't able to find is that there wasn't any information about the previous list, or where I could find the access to the paper, or the exact time when it was published and it came out. 662,673 images have been served so far. They have a whole page dedicated to tutorials. Now this bright object up here, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to mark that on, I click and drag over it, and I get a list. Now, you can have green knots, dark nebulae, Explain stuff. Explain all the different interface tools, and even provides keyboard shortcuts, I suppose for more kind of experienced users to make the process quicker. After watching the tutorial, I felt like I was ready to participate, but before I could do that, it was mandatory for me to create an account. The process was fairly simple, it probably didn't even take five minutes. They requested my real name, however it was mentioned that if I would like to remain publicly anonymous, to keep the box blank. They also requested my email address, but later on in the settings you can, there is a choice to make it private so the other users can't view it, which I thought was quite good. But at the same time, if I didn't go back into the settings and look at what I was able to choose, I wouldn't have known that it was just publicly open for everyone to see. So I think maybe this should be made more clear in the actual first registration process steps. You can also choose what you would like to get mailed all the notifications if anyone comments on your picture. However, again, I thought this wasn't made clear enough because you had to go through the account and to go into the settings to try and find it. The experience of my contribution, I would say, overall was a negative one. The picture that was generated for me was in very low quality. It was pixelated and it was very hard to tell wh what object was what. The interface also got quite confusing because there was just simply too many choices to remember from the tutorial. I wanted to go back to the tutorial page but they wouldn't, the website wouldn't allow me to do that before I submitted my image. After submitting it, I put it up in a discussion board and I asked if anyone could tell me if there's anything else that they can see because I wasn't sure of myself. Now, six days later, no one has got back to me, which I think kind of shows me that the traffic of the website has probably gone down. Another problem which I conquered is that after after finishing my image and submitting it and submitting it to the discussion board, for some reason, it wouldn't let me get back to the homepage. I had to sign out and kind of start all over again before it would let me to go back. So I think that might have been some sort of a bug in the website and it was kind of like a barrier because I was actually going to go and try another image to see if the quality would get better, but it wouldn't let me get back to it. So I decided against it. And I think that's something that might put people off against using the website. If the picture quality was a higher quality, it would have definitely made it a more visually pleasing experience. If I was able to go back to the tutorial page halfway through to maybe check anything that I wasn't sure of, because there are simply too many possible objects and the interface is too advanced to remember it straight away. 